This project is a collaboration between West Virginia University and R1 University in West Virginia, situated in the resource-rich Appalachian region of the United States, UFMG, a free public institution in Minas Gerais, Brazil, that leads nationally in education, culture, research, and patent generation, and CIT Senai, a Brazilian institute that leads in research development and innovation. People from West Virginia call themselves mountaineers, while people from Minas Gerais are known as mineros. Given that Minas Gerais is a mountainous state in the Brazilian highlands, mineros could also be mountaineers. Since West Virginia is also a traditional mining state, we could say that mountaineers are mineros. West Virginia University, Centro de Inovação e Tecnologia Senai, and Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais will be working to connect both states to a new mobility program of engineering students and researchers from each region. Nesse projeto, queremos reunir pesquisadores e estudantes de West Virginia e Minas Gerais com diferentes formações em engenharia e ciências para identificar problemas sociais, culturais e ambientais causados pela mineração em ambos os estados. Por meio desse novo programa com a WVU e a UFMG, o Senai pretende construir uma parceria forte que possa levar a futuros projetos de pesquisa tanto aplicadas quanto acadêmicas. This new mobility program will expose our students to an international experience. It will enhance their education in preparation for future opportunities in the mining sector. Six WVU students will be traveling to Minas Gerais, where they will participate in workshops and visit labs of Senai, UFMG, and Instituto Tecnológico Vale. Similarly, six Brazilian students and researchers will visit WVU campus and labs, participate in workshops offered by faculty specialized in mining and mine safety. We aim to create a bridge between the academia and the industry by providing our students the opportunity to immerse in a cultural and professional ex experience in an international context. We are thankful to the 100,000 Strong in the Americas Innovation Fund for the opportunity to materialize this connection.